Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. Behind me, there, that home was in the movie The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's talk about the Brian Kohlberger Moscow, Idaho case. Because when I look at that home, it reminds me of the Moscow home. And we're going to talk about Bethany Funk and the latest developments with Bethany Funk. But let me turn the camera around. This home here was in the movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Remember that home? Remember that home? That's the home used in the movie. And it's in the middle of nowhere in Texas. And here, that's home behind me here. Reminds me of a scary home the Moscow home, where four college students were brutally stabbed during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022. Call it the House of Horrors, just like that home there. Look, there's even a gate. There's even a gate here. They don't want people to block the driveway. And they also have no trespassing signs. Violators will be trespassed. We'll prosecute it for trespassing. Trespassing the Moscow home. And now he is being held accountable for that. Let's talk about Bethany Funk. Evelyn Grossland. Evelyn Grossland, she has an attorney from the Reno, Nevada area. Washahoe County. Is she fighting the subpoena? According to court documents that are being shared online, there's a subpoena for Bethany Funk. And it seems like she might be fighting that subpoena. Why? What does that subpoena consist of? What do they want Bethany Funk for? Do they want Bethany Funk for her testimony against Brian Kohlberger? Do they want her to provide evidence? Do they want Bethany Funk to talk about Dylan Mortensen, her friend, her BFF? Do they want her to provide handwriting samples or digital evidence or to show? And it seems like it's going in front of a judge in Nevada named Barry. What's going on here, people, with this Subpoena. We can only speculate, but is Bethany Funk having cold feet and she doesn't want to be involved? And can they make her? There has been out-of-state subpoenas issued to people all across the country in reference to cases. And you know what happens if you don't show? Sometimes they make you go. Sometimes they arrest you in the opposite state and bring you to the state they want you to testify. Will that happen in the Moscow case? Is that happening before our eyes? I don't know. I am covering this case. I am out front of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre home talking about the Moscow, Idaho home. Similarities, scary, creepy, just like the Moscow case will be a movie akin to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I am true crime and travel. There's a windmill. There's a windmill behind me. There is a windmill. And look, look at the breeze. Is the pastures green for Bethany Funk, Dylan Mortensen, Brian Colberter? What's gonna happen with this case? Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button, covering the Moscow, Idaho case, taking you to scenes like this. Scenes like the Moscow, Idaho home. Maybe next time I'll go to the Emmyville Horror House. Remember Emmyville Horror? Or any other famous locations where tragedies happen. Bethany Funk, will she appear at Brian Kohlberger's preliminary preliminary hearing June 26th. I think that's what it's about, but it remains to be seen. 
Stay tuned. We'll talk soon. God bless.